You know, when I first started the Secret City mural, I had a whole big giant blank space to fill up and draw with my imagination. And a little by little, I added on and I built on this really elaborate Secret City universe I have right here. You could do the same thing. And don't be afraid of a big giant blank piece of paper. Once you start, you start a little bit at a time and you keep building on it and pretty soon you have the whole paper filled up with really an exciting drawing. I want to add right down here on the planet another addition to my Secret City mural, some more waves right here. You see I have the Unibear riding the wave surfing. <laughs> He's tubed right there on this four-foot face of this wave, plowing over. It looks like we're in Hawaii right here, doesn't it? Now I'll add one more wave curling over. And this might be a good addition for your Secret City. So take your pencil and you can follow along with me. Draw the wave curling over right here. So you start right here and curl it over the top. And then... I'll draw the curves lines for the water curving up inside. And this is the outside of the wave right here. So I'm going to see how the water's curving around the shape of the wave. And right here is where the wave's beginning to break. So I put a little bit of foam, some white water. And then down here it connects with the lake itself or the ocean itself. And so it puffs up into a big, almost explosion of white water. You can hear the waves <laughs> really plowing in. And there's a little bit of wind today, so the wind picks up the whitewash a little bit more. Take your pen now, and let's outline this. You want to put another surfer inside there? Okay, we'll make Unibear surfing. Another one. Draw the curve of the wave coming along here. It's a really nice form, nice shape. We're having a surfing contest on the Unibear Island. Draw the white water. Look, at I'm using overlapping. Nice loose lines right here. i use some overlapping right here. And then the big explosion. And then size. The near part of the wave is a little bit larger than the far part. Now you know all these magic words by heart. Do you know that these waves create a really nice natural design in your drawing? Natural design is used all the time. It's used when you're drawing bricks on a building or the bark of a tree. Or a bunch of waves in your drawing. There's the end of a surfboard sticking out. And the Unibear's kneeling down inside there. He's getting tubed. Tubed on Unibear Island. He's probably going to come out with t-shirts now saying he was tubed. <laughs> okay. I'll darken the inside in. To make it look like it's a very hollow wave. Like you can stand up inside there. All the way along here. And then it comes out. And it continues on. The same form. The same shape of the water. Now waves are a really fun thing to add in nature in my drawings. Now take a look at how Milton Avery saw the sea in this painting. See, if you visit your local art museum, you get tons and tons of all kinds of ideas for your own drawings, and your own secret cities, and your own paintings, and your own watercolors. Remember, you can use all different kinds of mediums. You don't have to be limited to just pencil or pen. You can use paint, or you can use chalk or colored pencil. And just go to town with your imagination and really conquer that piece of paper. Have fun with that paper. Remember, that's your domain. That's your territory. You're the king of that piece of paper, so you can draw anything you want on it and make it look three-dimensional using these magic words. You can have those magic words for free. They're yours to use. See, I have put a little bit of shading on the inside of the wave to make it look really hollow, like the wave has an actual shape to it and is peeling over on top of the Unibear. And I think I'll add a little bit of color to that surfboard so you can tell that he's standing on top of it. And, of course, these Unibears are really cool, so they have pink surfboards. <laughs> okay. These unibears are very colorful. They have colorful personalities, and so they like colorful toys, like this surfboard. They wouldn't like me calling their surfboard a toy, though. They think it's a very serious transportation device. And then I'll take the light blue and finish the, the watercolor around here. Now, it'll dull my black lines just a bit, but then I take my finger in there and I lighten it up. I'm going to use it to highlight inside here, highlight inside the wave, all on the top of the wave, and over on this side. See what color does? It helps make the wave stand out from the background. 
but also it identifies the waves as being part of the ocean, part of the water. Color really helps your drawings, enhances your drawings. It enhances that natural design that is created by these waves peeling across the surface. Now take a look at this magic word and see if you can guess what it is. I use contour right here on the wave. See how the lines wrap along the volume and the shape of the wave? Contour helps give your drawing shape and volume to it. Natural design is important along with contour. And remember, all your drawings, all your drawings are products of your imagination. And if you look around your house, you'll see the products of artist's imagination that designed all the little utensils around your home, like the toaster or the oven or your sink. It's all drawn by a designer, an artist, and you can even do that someday if you want to. All on the top. Now it's time for me to color in the pier right there that Meta Man comes out and talks to me on. I think I'll color the pier a very nice, oh, this is a big decision. How about a green? We have orange, oh, I think I'll continue the orange out there. Orange for the top. All the way across. Leave the a different color. Maybe even leave it a light gray coming across here. I touched up the orange all along here. Now we can put a little bit of highlight in the water like the water's foaming up and put a little bit of yellow on the top of each one of these splashes to make it look like it's really puffing up a lot of water. <laughs> Lots of sound effects because the water's peeling across the surface. A little bit of yellow on top here to highlight the top. And even over here. So you can use color to highlight also. Don't be afraid of these big pieces of paper. Remember, you start small in one corner, in the middle, or in another corner, and just blast across it and build your drawing. Pretty soon you'll have a giant drawing with your imagination, a secret city with all these magic words used. Draw, draw, draw. Stay in a super positive attitude and use natural design in your drawings. I'll see you next time.